Hello everyone, welcome to round number six of the Fiddy Candidates 22. And one of the highlights of this round is Ian Nepomniak's win over Jan Christoph Duda. Nepomniak continues to lead the candidates with four and a half out of six, an impressive uh, run by Nepomniak here. Although Carwana is not far behind, it was four. Both former challengers are showing this group how it is to be a challenger. Yeah, check it out. Never going to start with knight f3, d5, g3, 2g4, bishop g2. We have the Kia, so e6 castles, knight e7, h3, all right, bishop h5, d4. Nine f six c four. All right. Now from Kia, we, we now have this Catalan type of position with c four d four. C six solid approach by Black. C takes e five. C takes e five. Knight e five. Nice move. Takes a little bit committal. I think Duda has to pay knight e four as well here. Which is different. Now look at the game. In the game, there's knight takes e5, takes knight e4. The problem with uh, capturing on e5 is that white has this idea of pushing this pawn to f4 and g4 later on. And this bishop, this bishop on h5 will be a target and be trapped. So instead, instead of capturing that knight, it was better to go for knight e4 here. Now, okay, let's let's check out the difference. Knight e2. You can push f5. Stopping this g4 idea. Yeah. And you also have this control of the e4 square. Okay. I take e5, takes 94, 92, takes 92. Now white is better here. Yeah. Bishop c5, rook c1, queen e7, king h2, or also king h1 is a possibility here. This castle is the same as what happened in the game. You can go g4, Bishop g6 and then f4. King h2, almost the same. f4, h6, queen e1. When he actually tries to go for queen g3, protect that pawn on e5, then he can push f5. Okay, queen and b3, queen g3, king f7. H4, the expansion on the king side with the majority of pawns from white. Rook d8, g5 takes. Taking maybe is not good. King h8 was just fine, yeah. Do the panic with takes on g5, takes on g5. Bishop b4 takes, queen takes b4, and now f5. How do you deal with this point? Now, what's the difference here when you just go king h8? Okay, probably white will try to go for bishop h3 because he cannot push f5. That's always queen takes e5. Yeah. And then you go bishop d4. Maybe b4 has to be played here. Okay, white should still be better in bishop e4, maybe. Okay, white can go e3 also, bishop to b6, and bishop c3. Now oh, white's still crying. It. But takes, okay, all, all he loses quickly here. Takes f5, now e6. Rook c3 also wins on the spot here, yeah, blocking threat on e5 here. But the difference here, e6. Mm. 
if black goes takes on c3, e takes f7, king takes f7, okay, king takes f7, then you have this infiltration on c7 here. If the king goes back to g7, f6, mate on g7, it is unstoppable. E6 takes, G6, Napa Major went for the piece. Black has a couple of pawns, but the activity on the seventh rank. Rook takes F5, nice move. Queen cannot take the rook, it's going to be made on G7. King G1. Bishop f1, rook g5, massive, massive. After rook g5, major pieces attacking the g7 square. Queen d6, queen f2. After rook g3, Duda resign. Okay, he can push the pawn on d3, but rook takes g7. How do you stop this threat to g8? You have queen f6. The king is just dead, yeah. Three major pieces, two rooks and queen on the king. This is just too much. The bishop safeguards his own king on g1. All right, what a win by Nepomniachi, and he continues to lead the candidates. I guess at the back of his mind, he wants revenge against Magnus, but it's still a long way to go, though. It's uh, We're almost halfway. Round six. Uh, this is uh, a 14-round um, tournament where each player plays two games each, you know, one white and one black. So that's 14 rounds, yeah. Eight players, double round Ruben. Still a long way. You will still see so many changes, but this lead with four and a half is actually a good sign for Nepo. Is he ready for a revenge against Magnus? We'll find out as the candidates continue in the days to come. All right, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting our channel, Charles Marks Chess and Charles Marks Entertainment on Facebook. And YouTube, it's Coach Oliver. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.